Before we get into today's episode, I really want to stress to you guys that you can get help if there are some kind of mental issues that you might be go going through. I didn't seek any kind of professional help. I didn't think that I needed it. And I have had some mental issues in, in, in the past. I'm not crazy. I, I struggled with, with a little bit of depression and I never went to a doctor for it. I actually got out of it by watching social media, by watching mo motivational vi vi videos, but I, I don't recommend you do that. I, I recommend that you go and get actual help if you do need it. I did not need it. I thought that I was able to beat this without you know, any kind of professional help. And that's not always the best way to go. There are very few people that can do that. And I, and I like to think that I'm one of them. Still to, to this day, I sometimes struggle with, you know, always thinking negatively and looking down on myself. But at the end of the day, I always know that I can accomplish whatever I put my mind to. So that's why I never seeked any professional help. But it is important. So if you need a change in your life, go out and make a change. Go out and do something different. If it's gaming all the time and you want to go out and maybe go on vacation, go on vacation. Go do that. Go do something that's different than the same stuff that you do every single day. And that's what Tifu's doing. So enjoy the rest of the podcast. This is going to be a pretty emotional podcast. Um... I, I feel where Tifu is currently at, and Tifu said goodbye to everyone. T Tifu, I feel like, will be coming back. I, I just don't think that he's in the right headspace right now to keep going with a lot of this game, with a lot of this gaming stuff. And uh, he's been doing it since he was, you know, 14, 15 years old. That's a long time to be gaming, especially in the spotlight. Like, not many people talk about this kind of stuff. Not many people talk about what it's like being a child actor or in this case which is going to be a real problem in the future a child youtuber or a child public figure influencer and then going into adulthood like he has been doing this for way over 50, 10, 10 years like he, he's been doing this for quite some time and that's something that you really do have to take into account when you're not only trying to plan your life out but also just trying to you know live live your life um in in all reality when you're w w when you're young you don't think about these kinds of things and a lot of people that watch my channel that are young you're not going to think about these things even probably even when you're you know until you're in your 20s or even your early thir 30s like i didn't really start thinking about my like life in general until i was probably 25 and i was like was, was i just i think i was no actually i've been out of college for a little bit by, by by then but i have been out of college for about a year i mean i you know so i i don't think that a lot of people talk about this and i think it's very important for us to realize kind of where tifu is really at and how this can affect your life as far as gaming like th this isn't just about gaming this can be applied to anything but mainly this this podcast is about gaming and i really want to address like the mental health issue that we have go going on in, in the united states currently now even in the in the, in the world and i really want to address tifu specific incident because we're seeing more and more of this uh, i don't know if you guys have ever seen ba uh, bad bear ga gaming he he went through the same kind kind of thing um, he's going through it now, I believe. And he stopped doing YouTube, stopped doing, you know, TikTok and everything like, like that. And a lot, a lot of these people that have grown and they've grown quickly on social media, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, what, whatever the social media is, I don't think a lot of these kids, I, I, I could say, understand what it's like to, go from nothing to something in a short amount of time. And that span could be 10 years. That span could be five months. And that's the, that's where we kind of make or break the real people that have, that are cut out for this kind of thing. And I'm not trying to say that Tifu isn't cut out for this or bad bear isn't cut out for this or anyone that you have watched that has taken a break or taken a mental health, uh, you know, leave of absence in general. Like, but to do this long term, like you really have to have not only tough skin from people just talking shit to you constantly, but you also have to like. I mean, this is also gaming too. Like people talk shit to each other all all the time. Like you you're on an Xbox lobby. There's people talk, talking shit constantly, and 
you really have to have tough skin and a really un almost unbreakable mindset to do these kinds of things. This is this goes for business. This goes for gaming in general, especially if you're streaming. It, you really have to have a tough mental mindset. And if you don't have that, you're probably going to get cr crushed. Just absolutely crushed. And that's not what I want to happen to anyone. I really want people to understand that if you're getting into content creation, if you're getting into gaming in general, like especially if you want to do gaming and you want to be a streamer, or you want to make this your living, like there are going to be tough times no matter what you do, except for if you get a nine to five job. I mean, let's be honest, you can always get la laid off and whatever else. But if, if you are trying to do something that's outside of the norm, it's going to be difficult. And to stand out is going to be even more difficult. This stuff isn't easy. T Tifu's been doing this for over 10, 10, 10, 10 years. E even Ninja disappeared. Ninja disappeared for two, two years, a year and a half, three years. And it's like, you know, nobody really talked about it besides making fun of him, at least that, that I've seen. You know, and after a while, it, it just... The one thing that I want to tackle when I say this is the gaming space right now is just oversaturated oversaturated with garbage and it is it is just hot garbage and call of duty being one, one of them call call of duty apex fortnite's getting better but it's still there like it's it's just hot garbage that's just recycled garbage that we have to just eat and call it eat shit and call it caviar and i'm sick of it okay that's also the reason why a lot, a lot, a lot of these creators are getting just absolutely just burnt out from this because it's just like all people want to see is a battle royale and it's like battle royales are fucking stressful they are they are a stressful breed of game you can talk all the shit you want call me a pussy what whatever i personally don't give a shit but when you're going on these things and you're making these and like if you're if, if they enjoy playing god of war and they only get a thousand viewers versus their normal viewership which is like twenty five thousand while playing warzone 2 what do you think they're gonna play they're gonna play warzone 2 they're gonna play fortnite they're gonna play apex because that gets them views that gets them money they can't do what they want to do because people don't want to watch them play god of war or wh whatever game may be out there that they like to play that actually in that actually brings them joy then then bring then brings them all, all all this money there are some streamers out there that do do that where they will actually just play the game that they want to play which is great i love watching people like that but there are some people especially again the young kids like tifu's young tifu's tw 25 i'm only five years ahead of him but Tifu is 25. There are people that are pretty famous right, right now that, that are in their 20s. They haven't hit 30 yet. They don't, they don't really know what it's like to go through hardship. And if they've been doing the same thing for 5, 10, 15 years, you know, going from a child influencer to an adult influencer, they feel like they've just their life is just passing them by. Because they don't really know how to deal with this kind of stuff. Fame. Money. Just in general. Just like the... the the Like options. Like options to do something else. That's not just about the money. Because that's when you're young. When, when, you, when, you, when you focus on, on the money. That's what you focus on. And that's what you always try to go for. You don't know anything else. So you don't really know what it's like to have fun. That goes back to what I was just saying about... You know, playing a game that you love. That's kind of... The, that's the same situation. It's like if the Warzone 2 gets them 50,000 view viewers, they're going to play Warzone 2 all the time. They're not going to play anything that, that they love to play. And then by the time they get off a stream, they're going to play something. They're not going to play anything because they're too burnt out from playing the shitty game all day that, that, you know, that you guys love to watch. I'm not trying to blame this on the audience. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to blame this on you guys. I'm not trying to blame this on anyone that watches you know, your favorite streamer or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you, they, the streamer themselves also has to take responsibility to play whatever they want to play and, you know, be able to still en entertain you guys at the level that they would be able to, en to, to entertain you at playing whatever game that, that they want to play. But the people that stay, people that donate are going to be those thousand people that want to see you play God, God of War, but there's going to be 25,000 people that are going to watch you that aren't your subscribers or that aren't 
really interested in in you. They just want to see the game. That's the difference. That's the one thing that we have to talk about too is, you know, your diehard fans are going to stay there no matter what you play. Your spectators are going to stay there because you're playing a certain game or, you know, sometimes they find you funny, you know, whatever. But it's like you need to focus on the people that actually matter in, in your audience than the, than the people that are going to come into to your audience and watch you a few times. Cause there are people, there are tons of people. Like whenever I watch Tim the Tap, Tim, Tim the Tap Man stream, it's like it's the same thing. You know, you go out, you go on there, right? And you got somebody that says, "Why aren't you playing Warzone? Warzone made you, or why aren't you playing, you know, Overwatch? Overwatch ba- ma- made you." Like those are not your diehard fans; those are your spectators. So this this goes out to people that are gaming in general. This is also goes out to people that that are gaming and streaming and trying to do content creation. Like this road is not easy. Now. Being a gamer in general is just very stressful because, you know, again, I just think that these games that we're getting, that we are playing are just aren't fun. Even, even this new X Defiant game, I saw, you know, Tim and, you know, Doc and everyone playing that yesterday. I'm like, it's just the same garbage. It's the same Call of Duty garbage that we, that, that we've been being fed for the past, you know, how long? 10, 12, 15 years. It's just the same trash. It's like, it, they're just, they're just. They're just putting a different label on it. Except for now it's Ubisoft instead of Call of Duty. And Ubisoft is even worse as a fucking making games. They suck. They, Ubisoft hasn't made a good game in like, you know, six, seven, ten years. You know, Tom is Tom, Clan, is Tom Clancy's games uh, Ubisoft? I'm pretty sure it is. But it's like there's so many bad, there's so many glitches, there's server issues. It's, it's just It's just so boring after a certain point. And, and I, you know, I, I hate to be that guy, but it's like when you really look at it from a 10,000-foot perspective, you're just like, why is this game still alive? Why are we still making the same trash, the same recycled trash? Like, oh, here's a M16. Here's a, you know, AK-47. It's like, give me an alien gun or something. I don't know. Something different, you know? That's why I like zombies. It was fun. It, like, it was different. It had different guns in it. Yeah, it had the same guns from from uh, the campaign and everything and the multiplayer, but it's like they added some alien guns into it. It was it was different, you know? And you survived. It was PvE. I love PvE games. That's just a personal preference, but it's like, like why the hell are we sitting here buying these games that are just recycled trash from, from these multi-billion dollar corp- corporations? And then, they, and, then they, and then they give you some skin with like diamond on it. And you're like, oh my God, I'll pay $50 for that. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm being a dick now, but at the same time, it's like, come on guys. Stop buying the shit, you know. And then, then, then people have the audacity to, to to complain. But that this is where this is where this is coming from. Like this is where Tifu is probably getting a lot of his stress from. Not only that, but he wants to he wants to be able to li- li- live live his life. We'll, we'll we'll go through a little bit of this video itself. I had a couple of timestamps that I wanted to uh, to uh, to show you guys. I ended up you know losing that those timestamps but i remember like two of them off the top of my head so we're, we're, we're gonna go with that but um i remember one thing specific in the video when i when i watched it was you know he was just he just feels like that his whole life is in front of a screen and streamer or not i can tell you if you're a gamer that's you're gonna have that same feeling like there's it happened to me like one day i was playing and i forgot what game i was playing i'm pretty sure it was warzone it might even have been gears but I was playing. I was playing the game, and and I, you know, I, I just sat there, and 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 something happened where a glitch happened, or maybe I died in some BS way, and I was like, why am I wasting my time playing this? Pretty sure it was Warzone. I like shot. I I legitimately shot some guy. I had to be at least ten or fifteen times, and he just he just he just jumps. And then shoots like four bullets, and, I, and my guy drops. Now that that could be that, um, you know, the uh, skill based hit detection. I don't know, but at the same time, I know I hit that guy more than like fifteen times, and I and I just got dropped in like four or five shots. And I was like, I was like, why am I wasting my time on this game? I was like, I I legitimately hate this franchise now. I cannot stand a second of playing Call of Duty or Warzone or whatever. And then again, they did the SM2 stuff. They did the X Lab stuff. I'm not playing that anymore. Like I'm not. I will probably not be playing Call of Duty for either a very long time or at all ever again. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Move forward. There we go. Be- beautiful. So I I don't 
I, I do not want you to go through the same thing. May you may have already gone through the same thing, and you may have just said, "Oh, it'll it'll be fine." Like next next game will be better. That's that's what I used to do too. Pretty, pretty sure I, I I was doing that for probably about three or four Call, call of Duties, and finally, like you know, one of the recent ones. I'm just, uh, like it was model it was model Warfare 20, 2019 or, and or Warzone, and I realized I said, "This is this ain't it." Like this is not the next one's not going to be good. Like Vanguard, I definitely got I I got Cold War, and then I was like. Looking at Vanguard, watching gameplay, I was like, this is not it. Like, watching Tim, watching Nick, watching, you know, Doc. Like, I watch many different street streamers. You may think, oh, yeah, Doc talks shit all the time. Tim talks shit, too. But it's like, at the end of the day, <clears throat> I did not want to get War um, Van Vanguard. I didn't want to get Modern Warfare 2 2022, and I didn't. Because I, cause I knew, I also played the beta of, of Modern Warfare 2 as well. And I said, this ain't it. Like, this is not going to be like what it used to be. And I and I decided, I made a decision that I was not going to be playing this, playing this nostalgia game with them anymore. I'm done. Like, I'm not going to be buying another Call of Duty game. I, I'm going to be making my, my, my own games, which I'm in the middle of something right now. So if you watch this far in the podcast, drop a like because we're, we are making a mobile game. I'm going to be making plenty of other games. Which is also why I split up this channel with like a bunch of other ones because I have so many different ideas, hobbies, and interests that I actually made a game development cha channel also. But I'll be probably, you know, doing some campaigns or advertisements on this channel to show you guys gameplay and everything like 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 like, like that probably within the next month or two. Um, because I, I really... I, I, I want to give you guys the best product possible. That would be a, you know... That's going to be through a podcast through um it's your journey i don't know why this is doing that but we're just gonna we're gonna mute it for right now i i, I it, every time i i like press the every, every time I, I press the button like the numbers to switch between ca ca cameras it it um it switches it goes through the stupid video so that's probably why that happened so We'll just mute that for right now and keep, and keep it off. But we're, we're, we're going to jump into this in, in, a, in a second. I um, forgot what the hell I was talking about now because of that. Lost my train of thought completely. 100% gone right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the overall arching issue here is that gaming needs to change and i want to be that change instead of just complaining about it i'm tired of complaining about how bad call of duty is about how bad you know battlefield is like those games are not going to get any better now the developers may not be 100 percent in charge of that and maybe the c-class executives that might be in charge of that and you know the developers are just like hey we should make something different and they just say no well this makes money so at the end of the day if you stop buying it they're going to stop making it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some real change and make different games, make better games, you know, and I also had games ideas in, in my head just floating around that I want that, that I want to get out before I die. So um, I'm going to do that. And if you, you know, if you decide to play them, great. If you don't, then, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, let's 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 hop, let's hop into Tfue right right now. And uh, let's let's see if I can find a, a space of where, where I want it to be here. So I think it's around three minutes or so chat dude it's been a long journey man 25 years old i've been doing this for since i was a kid man like i feel like my childhood and even some of my adulthood kind of flushed away but i feel like this is like the end of the journey man it's, it's been like 15 years it feels like and you know i've gotten to a point in my life where i feel like i'm so busy making content and streaming that like my personal life and you know, my hobbies aside from gaming, I, I don't really have time to do like a lot of the shit. So I feel like this is the end and you know, it's been a long journey. I, I just been, it's been eight years partnered on Twitch, which is crazy, crazy milestone. And I also want to go back here and go and go to the beginning been, watch this. It's been, fuck dude. It's been long. It's been a long fucking road, dude. I'm about, I feel like I'm about to cry. <laughs> fuck dude. You see how uncomfortable he is? Watch this too. Years, look. On look Twitch. look at his crazy, hands. Look at his awesome. hands. Look at what he's doing with his hands. People, uh, if you if you're not good at reading people, that's what's one of the things. Like if you notice he's play, he plays with his hands a lot 
throughout throughout the video. So this isn't this isn't fake. This is this is real. He plays with his hands a lot. He scratches his arms. He's like always he's like picking off calluses on on his on on his hands. You this this is this is a real video. Like this is real. This is him actually taking a new step in his life. Which which good for him. You know, it it is true. I mean, if you, you know, content creation takes out takes a lot of time out out of your life. But like, dude, doing content creation playing the games themselves and then actually making the videos that that's hard like i do that i used to i used to play the games a lot a, a lot more but now i play more for fun and i try to you know talk about the real issues in gaming versus just like playing the games and be like this game sucks like i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to be that content creator anymore so i'm trying to be the real content creator that gives you real feedback and gives you real real life shit that's going to actually help you not only in real life but also just in gaming in general you, you know and that's also why i wanted to bring on guests onto this onto this and start like actually talking to people about gaming and the state of gaming certain games and stuff like that so um that hopefully will, will be next i did make a community post by by the way and oh here here here, here we go again um i made a community post which i'm going to go to now if you have not already voted on this community post, do do that now because I'm actually going to reach out to one to one of these people. Uh, it looks like Mr. Beast Ga Gaming is is uh, is in is in front, but um, yeah, I'm actually going to legitimately reach out to a lot of people, and I'm going to reach out to Mr. Beast Ga Gaming. You know, you, you never know; like there could be some kind of you know c c connection there that he sees that might be valuable being on this podcast. But hey, if he doesn't, maybe maybe we'll we'll just work up to that one day. You know what I mean? So, um, the thing that I, that we want to talk about here next, let's, let's go, let's go back to, uh, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Corny and like a kid's game, I guess. It felt like, like I was playing fucking Roblox or some shit, but I, I don't know. I was like a hardcore BR player, so I didn't really like it. So I quit. I went back to PUBG for a little bit and then Fortnite started adding some like cooler shit and started getting some traction. And then I was like, all right, like, let me get another shot. And then it started grinding that on stream and, you know, the viewership was decent, but then, you know, I, I started to get good when I started to actually like commit to playing it and stop playing PUBG and like, you know, Tilted came out and, you know, yeah, we're going to go to this section here. I believe this, 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 this is, this is where it gets the most more. uncomfortable for him. But, you know, I had a, a supportive family, you know, to help me through like the, you know, transition into like the early gaming industry because it was very tough early on. Now kids have it kind of easy. It was definitely like a rough road in the start, but obviously it paid. This Ooh. right here. This right gets really uncomfortable. I guess my most important message is like, where I'm gonna go from here, you know? <sighs> fuck, man, it's been, it's been, fuck. It's been a long fucking road, dude. I'm about, I feel like I'm about to cry. <sighs> fuck, dude. It's just been, I don't know. <sighs> I wouldn't take anything back, you know, for the world, but like. I just feel like fucked. It's just been fucking long, dude. Like, I don't know. It's been eight years partnered, you know? I've been doing this since I was like eight years old, content creating. I just feel like I need to go, like, fucking fucked. I just need to go live my life, you know? <sighs> Fuck, dude. You, you sound comfortable with this Shout system? Shout out to all my fucking fans and the people who supported me along the way. Uh, who knows if I'll be back, man? Uh, I mean, maybe, who knows? I just need to, like, I just need time to, like, get away. Just go, like, live my life, because I feel like... I feel like early in my like gaming career, I use like gaming to like I use gaming to kind of like escape like from reality, and I feel like now like I use like reality to escape from like fucking work, you know. I just feel fucking like kind of trapped sometimes, you know. Ugh. I just feel. It's been fucking a lot, dude. It's been fucking hard. Just streaming like fucking six, eight hours a day. 
I don't have time to like do shit. So I just need to take like, time off, you know? Yeah. I'm fucking 25. And I feel like majority of my life has been in front of a screen, which is, you know, I wouldn't take it back for the world. But I just feel like I need a break, you know? I just need to escape for a little bit. So I want to I want to address that, too. So he he's pretty much talking about, you know, being trapped, you know. It, it kind of goes back to what I was saying earl, earl, earlier, where it's like, you know, you don't really know what else to do. You, you know, you kind of just like you go for the views, you go for the money. And he's again, he's he's young. He's 25. He doesn't really know anything else. So now he's kind of just like had enough of it. Like his body is probably just had enough with it. And he just wants to change. Now, at the beginning of the podcast, I did say all the mental health stuff and whatever else. Like, if you need a change in your life, go make a change. Just don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Just do it. That's the number one thing. Like, you gotta you gotta make the change. You can't you can't wait for someone else to give you like the okay to make change. Like, you 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 cannot wait for somebody else to to help you make change or to make change like you have to make your own change and that's really important when you're trying to deal with anything throughout your life doesn't matter if it's gaming doesn't matter if it's just in general like you know a bad job bad you know bad day gaming like make a change if you game all the time make a change just read a book i know it sounds fucking crazy but read a book go outside for a day go hang out with some friends or a friend i have probably pretty much one friend and I'm married, you know, so it's like, just change it up, change up your routine, Even if he did that, he probably wouldn't have gotten to this spot, I can tell you that right now, if he changed up his routine, maybe he didn't stream for one day during the week or something for a little bit, like, he probably would have been okay, if he took a Friday off or whatever, I don't know how much he streamed, I think, I, I used to see him streaming, like, probably Saturday and Sunday, too, on some occasions, but, like, he streams eight hours a day plus, you know, and that gets exhausting. Like being entertaining for eight hours a day. I have a lot of respect for people like Tim, Nick, Cloak, Tifu, you know, Dr. Lupo, all those guys that stream Ninja, that stream eight hours a day. Like, you doing that for an, ex an innumerable amount of, like, hours and days. Like, do doing that for days, years on end, that takes... A lot of energy out, out of you. Like, I tried streaming for a short amount of time. I was streaming to, like, maybe 10, 20 people at a time. And it is fucking exhausting. Like, I used to, I, I used to stream on TikTok, too, a lot. Just to try to grow my following. But, my God, I, I got so exhausted from streaming on there. And I was only streaming for a couple hours. I have massive amounts of respect for people like Tim and Nick and whatever else for streaming longer than you know a couple hours like streaming for more than five hours in a row is is exhausting like i i don't even know how they do it i have massive tremendous i have tremendous respect for streamers i do to being 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 there and being present literally for eight hours is insane to me like i again i streamed for like two three hours streamed to a couple hundred people on tiktok and I, I was <coughs> I was exhausted. I couldn't do it. If you told me to do it now, I literally would probably just have to just chill out and just be like super chill. Like I could not sit there and be en entertaining like like I do for, for for this podcast or even for any of my videos, my shorts videos. I couldn't do I couldn't do that for like for eight hours, five six hours. I couldn't do it. One to one to three hours. I'm I'm your man. For for six plus or five plus four plus. No 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 way. I'm not doing that. Sorry. Can't do it. That's the, that's the thing. That's the, that's the beauty of it is that, is that I, you know, I honestly don't want to be a famous face. I don't really want to be a streamer. I, I would, I, I will eventually stream if, if the time calls for it. As I mean, I'm probably gonna be promoting my game and stuff like that, but I don't care about like the fame in that sense. Like, I just want to create the things that are in my head that I really enjoy playing you know, doing like, I want to, I, I want it to be fun. Like I want it to be interesting. I really want 
to, you know, really wow the audience. But at the same time, I don't want to sacrifice my, my mental health for it. So at the end of the day, if you are trying to, you know, create something bigger, take breaks. Don't just go through all the way. If you guys enjoyed this podcast, please do drop a like and uh, and subscribe because, again, I'm trying to get more people on this podcast so we can do some interviews, and I can't do that without any likes, comments, or subscriptions. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.